Good Friday, everyone. Boy, this week's weather has truly been a roller coaster, hasn't it? From freeze warnings at the beginning of the week to 80 degrees today. Wow, I think the last of our freezes are behind us, though. And I am taking my annual jaunt to Strange's Garden Center in Short Pump today to peruse all of the plants and make choices for my um, flower garden in the back of my patio and in the front of my condo. Uh, I just love being able to be in the garden in the springtime planting and pulling weeds and feeling the dirt in my hands. It's so therapeutic. It truly is. This time of year is when it seems like the whole earth is waking up after its winter slumber. Whenever I feel depleted, I can be renewed by the wonderful world God has created. And listening to the birds, watching the wildlife, feeling the soil, it all rejuvenates my soul. God has blessed us with this wonderful earth that has everything we need to thrive and survive. But are we truly being good stewards of this wonderful gift? For the next few weeks in our Kids on Mission group on Sunday afternoons, uh, we will be using a curriculum called The Green Church by Abington Press. It starts off with a leader devotional where I found a lot of good information. First of all, in Genesis 126 and 128, God gives people dominion over creation. God said, now we will make humans and they will be like us. We will let them rule the fish, the birds, and the other living creatures, in verse 28. God gave them his blessing and said, Have a lot of children, fill the earth with people, and bring it under your control. Rule over the fish in the oceans, the birds in the sky, and every animal on the earth. The Hebrew word rada used here means to rule. And this word is used in other scripture passages to refer to the rule of a king or of God. Rulers can be self-serving. Our rulers can be benevolent. The type of ruler that most scholars believe applies here is intended to reflect God's rule over us. God is now not self-serving. God is generous and cares for us. So we are to be generous to creation and to care for creation. The command given to humans in the second telling of the creation story echoes this. The Lord God took the man and put him in the Garden of Eden to till it and keep it. That's Genesis 2.15. The word used as keep in this verse is the Hebrew, Hebrew, Hebrew word shamar, which means to keep or to guard or to provide for. From the beginning, God asked humans to care for one another and for all of creation. Some have said the purpose of humanity was to act as caretakers or stewards of creation. At the end of each stage of creation, God says that it is good. After charging humans with the care of creation, God looks at all of creation and says, it is very good. And God is pleased with creation and the way it's designed to work. Creation is interdependent. Humans depend on creation for nourishment and creation depends on us to keep and protect God's creation in his crea God's created order. Psalm 8, 6 says, You let us rule everything your hands have made. Some versions have words like rule over or dominion, and these words include a sense of responsibility and care. Another word used in some translations is steward, to be a steward of all God has created. A steward takes personal responsibility for something in his or her care. One synonym for steward is keeper. The steward of God's creation is a keeper of the earth. After God created all else, God created humans. God breathed into humans and gave them life. God showed humans the majesty of creation and gave them the responsibility for caring for it. Then God called creation very good. And on the final day, God rested. As I craft the lessons on the green church, I hope to get across to our Winfrey children the responsibility God has given all of us to take care of this wonderful earth. 
I want to help our children to learn that ex that actually they can actually do things to take care of the earth. When we feed wild birds, when we pick up trash, when we recycle or plant a tree, we're being green. Being green is one way we show love for God and say, say thank you for God's creation. I'm sending our kids on mission kids home with a uh, good a good steward checklist this Sunday and on this checklist they are asked to circle either yes or no to the following questions and I took this little test myself and found that I could be doing a better job at being green or being sensitive to taking care of the earth. Here are the questions. I recycle newspaper. I turn off the water when I brush my teeth. I use both sides of a sheet of paper. I recycle glass, plastic, or aluminum. I turn off the lights when I leave a room. I reuse paper bags. I don't waste food. I walk or ride my bicycle instead of riding in a car for short trips. I take short showers. I treat animals with respect. Are we truly doing everything that we can to care for the earth that God has given us? It's something to think about. This week our Kids on Mission class will be taking over the planting boxes located on the playground. We will be taking out all of the dead plants and putting in new soil and be planting bee-friendly flowers that will bloom throughout the summer, helping our bee population to have the nourishment they need to be the important pollinators that help plants to thrive and survive. If you get a chance after this Sunday, uh, come and take a look at our attempt to take care of God's creation here at Winfrey. Let's pray. Dear God, we're so thankful for this world you created, for giving us the responsibility to care for us. Help all of us to do a better job, to become more aware of how we live and the things that we can do to help care for the earth. May we all show our love for you by doing all we can to adjust our lives so that we are taking better care of the creation you have made. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.